Hello, welcome to the Tuesday, December 28th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Living off the land attacks, still a big deal, and Renato came across an interesting a trick that he documented in a post today where MS Build is being used, the Microsoft Build Engine, which for the Unix folks out here roughly sort of uh, compares to like the make utility in Unix. MS Build is used to build software, but as part of this, it's able to execute scripts. And that's exactly what the attacker did here. They used MS Build to run a script that then essentially turned out to be the good old Cobalt Strike Beacon. As Renato points out, this is of a typical trusted developer tool that's being used here. Uh, not uncommon that an attacker takes advantage of those tools. Microsoft does recommend to block these tools with the Windows Defender application control. May not always work uh, because, of course, there are legitimate uses for these tools and uh, people are sometimes a little bit hesitant to just uh, turn off tools like this. But if you're interested in how MS Build was used here and uh, Renato goes to quite a bit of depth, like you know how to decrypt uh, the connection that Cobalt Strike establishes via a proxy, lots of interesting things in this post. So take a look and uh, see what Renato has to teach you here. And we have yet an Another interesting way to bypass Apple's uh, gatekeeper and uh, code signing uh, requirements. Patrick Wardle has details in his uh, blog post regarding a bug that was recently fixed in macOS uh, Big Sur. Gatekeeper notarization and uh, these technologies are used by Apple in order to warn the user if unsigned software is executed. So you're downloading software from the internet, it's being quarantined, and now the first time it's being launched, macOS will check if uh, the software is properly signed and like and notarized in some cases. Now the problem here is what about, well, if I just have a simple shell script? Turns out, well, um, macOS is smart enough, a normal shell script uh, will be identified as an executable and go through the process, so it will typically not run. But uh, if you ever looked at a script on a Unix system, they always start in the first line with this shebang uh, sequence, a hash a symbol and then an explanation mark, followed by whatever interpreter should be used uh, to run the script. Turns out, on macOS Pixar, if you just have the hash explanation mark sequence without the name of a particular interpreter, well, it will automatically run via bash, but macOS does not run the script through the gatekeeper and uh, other checks that it should really apply. So really easy to exploit. All you need is a script uh, with the hash bang as a first line, no interpreter, and then some little bash commands that you would like to execute. And they will execute without any warning to the user. The user still has to download it, still has to double click it, but it could, as Patrick points out, be masquerading as a PDF or something like this. So it may not necessarily be easy for the user to recognize recognize what they're actually running. The issue has been assigned a CVE 2021-3085-3. It was patched originally in macOS 12 beta 6 and then of course also in macOS 11.6. And apparently the big movie event uh, this week was Spider-Man No Way Home. And it turns out that the bad guys, of course, can't pass up such an opportunity. And there are some executables uh, going around via torrents that claim to be a copy of uh, the movie. But instead, they are actually a crypto coin miner. Shouldn't really be a big surprise. And yes, not a movie file. So it should be easy to detect that these are dot exe files and not some form of mp4 or other uh, movie format and well that's it for today thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow bye